Although they were only in Savannah for a few months, they very quickly felt that this was their home. This morning, we're learning more about the family that was killed during a boat crash on the Wilmington River over the weekend. The five victims of Saturday's crash include four members of the Leffler family. The father, Chris Leffler, was a teacher at Calvary Day School after moving from Alpharetta only months ago. Right now, a fundraiser is set up to help the Leffler's surviving daughter, Katie. Last time we checked, the GoFundMe account had over $10,000 of its 50 thousand dollar goal and here's another live look at another fundraiser on the Calvary Day Schools website again all of that money going to Katie Justin Carter from our Atlanta station spoke with the head of the school where Leffler previously taught and a neighbor who said they just sold their home it took the wind out of our entire community. Dr. Edward Spurka is head of school at Kings Ridge. He says that former teacher Chris Leffler was always first to arrive and last to leave. He loved our school. He loved our kids. He was a father figure to every student. He says Leffler loved teaching so much. He recently took a group of students to Italy in January. We prayed and we worried about sending kids overseas because you had to get tested and worry about kids staying back. And Chris was always adamant about he would do anything for our kids, and we could have never pulled it off without him. It was a horrific Saturday morning. Georgia DNR says that Leffler, his wife Lori, and their two sons, Zach and Nate, were killed when a man crashed into their boat on the Wilmington River. Nate was 17 and recently played football at Kings Ridge. They love the school. They love their friends. Sankar Arun Shalam lived next door to the Lefflers. He says that he's devastated. They just sold their house in Alpharetta last month. They were here with us for five years. They're very friendly family. The kids were fair, nice. Always. We used to play, interact with them very, very good. Great loss for all of us. A loss, Dr. Spurka says, will hurt for a long time. Um, how do you move forward? This is not something we can walk alone through. Um, we need to support one another. And I think um, Tuesday is going to be our first step. And that was Justin Carter reporting for us this morning. Now, officers arrested Mark Stegall, who they say drove the other boat involved in the crash. He is charged with voting under the influence and is currently out on bond this morning. Authorities say the fifth victim, Robert Chauncey, was on the boat with Stegall.